Anything you like? How about the decals? Anything you like? How about the decals? How about not? Anything you like? Cindy. How about, How about the decals? How about not? What coat do you fancy? How about the decals? How about the decals, guys? Welcome, I'm Kamaro Tetsuo and you're watching Death Count, where I play video games on the hardest difficulty. It is Final Fantasy Friday, so let us continue on with our main story objective, which we're going into the into the dungeon, the cave, the dank cave, behind the waterfall, because there is a weapon of, a royal weapon back here. This place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Joe won't kill you. Well, looking on the bright side, maybe the cold keeps the demons at bay? Yeah. So, since they're arguing that it's cold in here, let's go ahead and just... Let's play a little bit... You know... Let's roleplay a little bit and put on... Yeah! Radios you can wear... Sure, why not? Ignis! And let us go to gear and let's try out some, well, yeah, let's keep using the katana for a little bit. Uh, the scepter. Sure, let's just go with that. Oh, let's change up the magic. Let's use instead... Uh, Thundera. Because monsters like warmth. Ah, sarcasm. Hmm. But what if they're frozen? Encased in ice, waiting for something warm to pass by. And then they jump out! <laughs> and there's our warm welcome. Well, what? That was a shocking victory! Onward! Whoa. Down we go. Can you stay on the, on the right side? Say your prayers. <laughs> Let's get it over with. Oh, my back. Thanks for the help, guys. So much for a little chill. <sighs> I really hope we didn't come here for nothing. Uh, sure there's something if we look. Again. Really. I believe you have to land up here for... to continue on. And you go this way. Because if you slide all the way to the bottom, you're going to have to backtrack, I believe. <laughs> Your tips just got frosted, dude. Really? How's it look? Prompto, that sounded that sounded a little a little weird. Just a little bit. Yeah, these dungeons are no joke. Like right now since I'm like way, way overpowered. Uh, it's not that it's I make it it makes it ow. I make it look really easy. That's Where'd you learn that one? Good to throw daggers in the dark. Be nice to brighten things up in here. Katana makes quick work of them. But yeah, like, especially Back like the later dungeons, right. they're really hard. 
you will not get far. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, a big old spider lady comes out here. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, I guess I was wrong. I need to go. Whoa, there she is. Watch your step. No more slip ups. Is new. You can say that again. Well, uh, this seems perfectly Look safe. I did not see that coming. The Prince of Pain. Yep. Nothing to it. I think I'm going the wrong way. Nothing turned up. Did you double check? Triple checked. Then we're done. Where to next? The only shameful thing, or kind of a little disappointing, is that the every dungeon music is the same. Uh, I think. Came to a dead end. Dan, you find anything? Nothing but ice. Cool. Cool. Um, I think there might be a couple that are different songs. I think. But at least every dungeon looks unique, in my opinion. Locked. If I may, don't ask. Yep, we're lost. <laughs> don't answer. Don't know where we came from. Don't know where we're going. Wreck this thing. I got that one. So I did go the wrong way. Yeah, the flans did not like this katana. No use hanging around here. Indeed. Let's do this. Uh, right. No, I'm good. I think I'm all right. Let's see for ourselves. Fool. Oops. Let's go ahead and change that. Um, because I've been getting a lot of flasks. I have a lot of empty spots. So let's go ahead and just do something stupid and just max this out. Max this out. And max this out. And we'll just create it like that. Cast. Friga, Blizzaga, and Thungata. That's pretty much the maximum uh, level 3 spells for each uh, element. 
It's fire and Infira and Infira. Firga, I believe. Blizzard. Blizzara. Blizzarga. Ronin! I can keep my. Bring on the next one. Whoa, Noctis. Okay. I'm freezing. Yo, oh, what I wouldn't give for a hot bowl of soup. Mm, soup. Mm, We're almost there. Donuts. Okay. You gotta be. Right? Yeah, and just about every single dungeon has an extra, extra area where it's pretty much even longer than the original dungeon, like the first part of it. That, like, the enemies are extremely high level. It's definitely for in game Dang. only. Knock, knock. Where the? Can it ever be easy? This part was pretty difficult the first time. Ouch. Flares. Good to go. Uh, that enemy type is a pain in the ass in Final Fantasy Tactics because they can cause confusion and all that. And they can still do that. They can still cast confusion on you on this part, on 15, but it's not as bad. It's not nearly as bad as, as Tactics. This is a bow, I believe. <laughs> all, he's all dirty. Sword of the Wonder. I'm gonna go ahead and just use that weapon too. Just to just to show it. Because I, I never really used much of the uh, royal arms because they were kind of a risk. You had to use them. You had to know how to use them. Yes, return to the entrance. There's the emperor, the ruler of Niffenheim. <laughs> Titan! What? You okay? What's today? Where was that? What is it? A hole in the ground. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disk of Corthus. Let's make our way back to Lestalem. Yeah, gotta report to Talcott. No. Oh. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and equip those weapons. Like I was saying, um, the way is because every single royal arms pretty much takes your life away every time you use it. And you know, when you're pretty new, when you're new to the game, the first run, it's a it's a huge risk. Um, like you have to really know how to manage it. Like use potions, have potions ready, so like use it and then use a potion, use it and then use a potion. It's pretty much how you had to do it. That's yeah, kind of cool. All 
Alright. Oh, Midgar spec? Huh. Let's see if I can fast travel here. Let's go back to the car. Return the car. Yes. Alright. And from the car, we're going to go ahead and just go back to... How about um, we get out of the rain? Yeah. <laughs> we go back to Sid's place and let's take these ridiculous wheels off. It's cool. I like the car. It's cool, but, um... Yeah. <laughs> so let's just go to uh, map point. Go back to hammer. Hammerhead. Fast travel, yes. Swap the wheels out. Back to regular. And we'll fast travel to the uh, Stalem. Loading, loading. This is one of the reasons why I don't uh, fast travel a lot in this game is because the loading just takes forever. I just use the car and drive. At least I get to listen to some music while I drive, while, while Ignis drives. I usually don't drive myself. But now with the car having uh, off-road uh, ridiculous oversized wheels, yeah, driving would be a lot uh, more interesting because now you can just go off-road. It's just, yeah, just for the purpose of this run, I just want to go to the regular car. Since I'm not going to be like side questing or mob monster hunting or anything like that, it's really unnecessary to have those big, those big overgrown wheels. Monster Look car. Look at these lights. What a relief. Indeed. They ought to keep the demons at bay. Let's hit up the shop. Yeah, let's do it. Sid has a quest? Hmm. I don't think I need to do it. Come with us, Noct. Well, ain't you a lucky one. I've got just the thing. She's a right mess. Well, just leave her to me. Y'all just leave her to me. What are you going to do, this Cindy? goes there. <sighs> there. <sighs> Good as new. Wow. Kudos for them actually making a new animation for that. Howdy. Howdy. Um, let's customize. What are y'all after today? What do you fix in to upgrade? Components. Um, have everything. Have like, you know, infinite gas, supercharged so it's faster speed. Um, what coat do you fancy? No, let's let's revert it first. Be seeing ya. Oh, Cindy, Cindy, can I talk to you, Cindy? Um, Cindy. What can I do you for? Knock this riser up there. I just look away. I'll get right on it. Gladius, I saw that. Happy trails, y'all. Yeah, just don't look. Just don't look, Noctis. There you go. Thank you. But let's change the so, color. Y'all keeping at it? Because, you know, it's, it's been a long time since I've heard, um... What are y'all after today? How about them decals? Go on. Pick a color. Let's see. Let's go... Let's go with something a little... Vanilla. Wait, what's changing here? I don't see. I don't see the difference. Oh, I think it's because I have a decal. Well, here's what I can do for. Her. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Tear up battle. Heroes fighting against fate. How Jesus. about the decals? Wow, that looks that looks kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it looks cool, but let's 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 not do that. I mean, 
Yeah, let's not do that. Anything you like? Anything you like? How about them decals? How about the decals? Hmm. Anything you like? How about the decals? Anything you like? How about the decals? How about not? Anything you like? Cindy. How about, How about not? How about the decals? How about not? What coat do you fancy? How about them decals? How about them decals, guys? Let's see. Let's go with... Cobalt Violet? Black Mika Onyx. Metallic Steel? Ice White looks kind of cool. Moonstone White. Let's go with Ice Silver. Mm, go on, nah. pick a color. Nah, I don't know. How about what do you guys think? What color should I go for? Let me know on the next on the next part if you want to see a specific color. My favorite color is blue, so let's just go with let's just go with velvet blue. Anything in mind for the interior? Raven Black. Okay, let's go with that. How do you want the wheels? I like Santa Cool. Uh, How do you want nah. the wheels? Nah, not so cool. How does that look? Eh, too much. It's too much. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, let's just go with that. Um, let's put a... Let's put a front... Anything you like? Let's go with... How about the decals? Okay, not body. Anything huh. you like? Cindy? Please. No, let's not have racing stripes. A chocobo? Ebony, famous coffee maker. These stickers are handed out around town to promote the brand. Oh, it's huge. Let's put on the rear. How about the decals? Let's put a cactar. Just because. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put another one? No. Works for me. Let's just let's just do that. Wait, did I just scrap it? Oh my ya. god! Oh my god! Huh. Cindy, what can I do you for? I screwed up. I screwed up. Sorry guys, I'm what wasting your time. Sorry, sorry, today? sorry. Let me do this really quick. What okay, body. Do you fancy? Um, let's go with deep sea blue. Yes. Uh, we need to take off the decal. Well, here's what I can do for her. Anything you like. Decal gone. Um, is that still in the back? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, How about the decals? Let's put. Let's put the chuggable. Yeah. Let's do that. 
Now let's let's put no. No, How's let's this? do this. Yes. Y'all just sit tight now. Much She's better. all ready for you. Have a look. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just change clothes. No longer in a dank dungeon. Let's go with Noctis's default default. Gladios, um... Now you know what? You can wear that. You can wear that. That's fine. Ignis. Prompto, take that off. Okay. Um, let's go to auto. All the way back to Stalem. Fast travel, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna have to go to another loading screen, unfortunately, but oh well. Probably there's been talk already about the uh, new, I guess, is expansion for 15 that's supposed to be uh, multiplayer. I, th I don't know how many people are supposed to be online or if it's going to be something like Red Dead Redemption is online where it's just the whole world, but just people can just are just walking around doing stuff. Or if it's actually going to be um, like co-op. I don't know if it's going to be co-op like four four players in a party or if it's actually going to be like actually open online where you'll be multiple parties of people and just doing some random stuff and um sort of sort of like an mmo but not really but not really so there has been a little talk about that i am interested in that i'll definitely be playing that too So pretty much what's happening in the story is Noctis is getting a lot of like, um, what's happening is he's, he's being communicated by, by Titan, which is one of the, one of their, uh, <sighs> damn, this place is hot. Just take your shirt off. Like you? No way. <laughs> what, too embarrassed to show your scrawny body? Hey, I got muscle. You just can't see it. If you say so. Yeah, because the the summons, which I kind of forgot what they're called on 15, um, Titan, Shiva, Leviathan, uh, uh, Rama, Ramu, uh, Bahamut, they're, they're the gods that pretty much created this, this world, more or less. There's nobody there, guys. It's only 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Not again. What's the matter? You all right? He'll be fine. Don't worry. Do I look alright? Look we at my face. We ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nox's condition. Hmm. 
Hmm. Perhaps you ought to rest a while. Do not overexert yourself. Yeah, let's do that. Because it's only like 1 a.m. Oh, greetings. Will you be staying with us? I wonder what they're talking about. Hello? Sheesh, thought I'd never get through. Good to hear your voice, Highness. You recognize mine, don't you? It's Dana. Right, the jeweler. Got that right. The best around. Listen, I've been worried about how you guys are doing. How's about you drop by Golden and mingle for a bit? We'll think about it. <laughs> we'll think about it and I hang up. Dickhead Noctis. Are you sure you're okay? I'm alright, Yaris. Hey, yes. Hi. Let's go, guys. We got a meeting with the gods. Pretty much. The summons. So see, that's what the oracle is doing. The oracle, uh, which is Luna Freya, she's pretty much has to communicate with those summons and let them know that you, Noctis, the warrior of light, because, you know, that is that is what you are, that you are... Damn, that was high. That you are... Um, the true save that you're gonna you're gonna save everybody so that they sh they should man that hurts yeah they I'm should give headache. they should give this their power to normal. you what a coincidence i'm not so sure it is aunt nursery rhymes curious things like this one from the deep the Archean calls. Archean, that's what they're called. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride? But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles. A convoy of sorts, shall we? Your automobile. Why do you talk like this so slow? Why don't we run to your automobile instead, shall we? Audien? Alright. I should have left my monster wheels on there and just ran his ass over. <laughs> That old rankity dank convertible is yours. Can't get it out of my head. All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. Well, if I ride with him. Ah, whatever. Take the wheel. Fine by me. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. The Archeans.
Chapter 4, Living Legend. As the land is rocked by tremors, Noctis is racked with headaches. Um, with self-styled man of no consequences advises the would-be king to go and heed the Archeon's call. Um, though loath to believe a suspicious stranger, the four friends ne ne nevertheless find themselves with no recourse but to find Ardalin to the disk of Kothos, where Titan is said to slumber. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, the lore is Titan is there because he pretty much rescued the planet because a big meteor was going to hit the planet and he caught it. If I remember correctly, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So he pretty much got like knocked out, but um, he, I don't know, he was just there and sleeping. The blessing of the gods. Pretty much in hibernation, I guess. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all so. right. Let's hit the road already. As you wish, drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. There's the disc. That's where Titan is. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature, what's not to like? Now Sky. in the wild, there are no rules to follow. This guy needs what gas or something. Are you what serious? Say we continue on to Carthus. The Archeum's not going anywhere. Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> Might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Save the game, sure. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. Ignis, come look! This stove doesn't work! Like, hmm, you're right, Prompto. This is this is a this is a wreck. The hell? <laughs> I was like, dude, just get away from me. 
Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos. Beast Whistle, inventory. Oh, yeah, I already have that. So I am still young. My blood is true. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. That marked the ascension of the youngest oracle in history. Is it hard giving blessings? It would be selfish of me to complain of my burden when so many suffer and wait. I hope they trust I will not rest until they all know solace. The world watched on with worry and wonder as the young girl grew. I understand you have a message for us. If you know of any who are bedridden or unable to come to me, pray, send word. And I shall go to them. I follow my calling. I will not halt my steps for anything else. In time, her strength would become an inspiration to all. What is your opinion of the treaty? When war has ended, so too will suffering subside. The treaty is a momentous step towards a brighter future. Let there be no doubt. We walk the path of true peace. All right, then. So Luna Freya not only is an oracle that guides your, you know, your lineage, your uh, Regis, you know, the Cassiums, because that, that's like your uh, surname, I believe, the Cassiums, the Kings. Um, refuel? Sure. We don't need to, but let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> uh, but it seems like she also uh, healed, like, did prayers and stuff and would heal... Uh, people. <laughs> All right, Audrin, wherever the hell you are. To you. <clears throat> Let's go. I should warn you. We're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Let's do it. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. For the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disky. Makes you wonder what it's like down there at his feet. To make so you know, here. it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy, can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be all right. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. It's funny how they're talking about Ignis' eyes. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. We're here. Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me, 
Be so kind as to open up. Wow, that worked. I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. Right, see ya, dickhead. I've met some weirdos. I hope we never meet that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. Revelations. That was weird. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, hey, Highness? Let's grab it and go. of the mystic here we go again this one's huge get away quickly he said get away knock this knocked but gotcha come on pull yourself up ah. Fine. You okay? Oh. Well, thank oh. heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. <laughs> yeah, like a parrot in my ear. So it's a two-bladed weapon. That you can combine it to equal one weapon. It's hot. Feels like I'm about to combust. There's 
Don't step in the fire. either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. Hang on. Perfect time for that. My head. Perfect time Again. for a headache. Of all the times, let's hurry the hell across. <laughs> You doing all right? What now? Hey! Titan! What's the big idea? Save it. Get to solid ground first. Faster! Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm trying to grab you. Almost there. Hurry! Saved your ass. That's his welcome. Hate to see how he treats intruders. You want to talk? So do I. Glad the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Take advantage of all this magic. Oops. Let's go ahead and create another. Sandara. Sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We Amicidia are the king's sworn shields. Guard the king with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Noctus strength has increased by 50%. Yeah, this is in case. This is to help you out if you're uh, underpowered, underleveled. But I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? But isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. Yes, I see that, Ignis. And the Magitek troopers. Cut off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. 
Corbin, Corbin, I, I, I don't got no fire. I mean, if, if I knew, Mega Potion, fool. I'm gonna start using those. We finally made it. I know. Titan, I need your strength. Hey, I'm here. What the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head. You gotta be kidding me. We're sitting ducks here. Hurry! Yeah, don't need to tell me. Hurry where? Over here. This is very cinematic.
stasis. Guys, we kind of missed there. Dickheads are trying to catch him. Still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? No, I just made a map. What? what is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one! Saying you are worthy to use my power. Doesn't get much worse than this. The Empire. Yeah, I wouldn't be standing next to that geyser of lava or not this. Fancy meeting you here! It occurs to me I never formally introduced myself. Izunia! Arden Izunia! Imperial Chancellor, Zinia! 
at your service, and more importantly, to your aid. I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. We have no choice, Doctor. I know. Mark of the Archeon. And there we go, we have Titan. Unfortunately, you just can't summon him whenever you want. There has to be certain conditions met in battle. Chapter 5, Dark Clouds. As Kothus crumbles, the Imperial Chancellor swoops in to usher the four friends to safety. But their reprieve is only temporary as Duska skies tell of trouble on the horizon. With the regalia missing and the roads closed, the four find themselves stranded. Yeah, this is because of all like, pretty much when uh, Titan woke up, also the other Archeons woke up to the summons. So... What's happening now is uh, Ramu awoke and he's causing a huge like storm around the whole area. So, uh, and then the Imperials are like closing off everything because I think they want to try to find Ramu because they want the power for themselves. But you know, since you're the warrior of light, you're collecting them, and since uh, Luna Freya already talked to the Archeans beforehand, explaining to them that you're coming for them for their power for their aid they're more or less already on your side you just have to go collect them and what i mean by collect them is to fight them <laughs> so that's kind of what's happening because niffenhelm the empire they're just all about power they see power they want to go for it Several days later. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockade shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. So yeah, they're searching for you guys the also. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. <laughs> Supposedly. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. So they're saying they handled the situation, but in truth, you did. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Yep. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Yep. This is see. I told you we'd uh, we'd be back to uh, the Chuckabo outpost. This is where you pretty much get your Chuckabos for now the first time. This is what I'm talking about. The kids got it bad. There are worse vices, I suppose. Someone's sending us a message. Again, 
Tiana. Den Tiana. Hear me, O oh King of the Storm. By the Storm Sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her King's name. Luna. Where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> When the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their King at the Walls of Water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? Yep. <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. She's a messenger from pretty much the Archeons, sort of ish, Bahamut. They tell her things and then she tells Luna. This just confirms that she is alive and that she's well. Receive the blessing. Thank you, Luna. She should be in Altitia, so that's where you're still gonna have to meet her. And that's where Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind. That we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. And there you go. Mm -hmm. She pretty much explains the Kira whole plot king of the story right there. Is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. The King of Light is not this. He was chosen because the Oracle knew because Until the gods the told her. This voice is heard. And the messenger that would to tell the, the Oracle all this stuff is Gintiana, which is the girl that Bridging appeared. And the one that's talking right now. The storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. The scourge the light is pretty much the king. darkness. Yep, three rune stones of Ramu hidden. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Yep. So Gintiana is the messenger. She tells Luna Freya, and then Luna t Luna Freya tells you pretty much stuff. Or Lucius, the the Cassiums. Um, you're the chosen. You're worthy of light. Or here they call it King of Light. You need to have the ring of Lucius so that you can um, use the crystal. And you use the power of the crystal to pretty much purge the scourge which the scourge is the evil that's around the around the world the darkness that's pretty much at nighttime uh, monsters come out and like it's happening more frequently more monsters are coming out at night and it's just excuse me we'd like to ride the chocobos the chocobos huh i hate to break this to y'all but we can't permit our birds to leave the post not while dead eyes still about He's an uncommonly ferocious behemoth that's taken to prowling these parts of late. He said makes our birds nervous, and to prevent accidents and tragedies, we have no choice but to suspend rentals. But hold on now. Ain't you lads the hunters that have been making a mark? You reckon you could handle the likes of Deadeye? 
If you could bring the beast down, there'd be a reward in it for you. But knowing the danger, I wouldn't blame you for saying no. I believe Deadeye is an optional quest, so I don't actually have to do that. But I might do that. Might be the only side quest I actually do. Um, it doesn't really affect me because I already have the Chuckabos thing. So, anyways. I'm going to go ahead and call this part right here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you like this sort of uh, thing. Uh, let me know what you want to see also. Um, I'm going to be continuing uh, Final Fantasy Fridays until... Did you see this, Noct? What about it? Prompto? What is it? Yeah. Weight green formula. Wiz four lane. This will really fatten you up. Duh, it's fat chocobo feed. To like eat them, right? To eat them? <laughs> That's the thing. It's almost like eating a horse. I can't do that. Anyways, I'm Kamara Tetsu and you just watched a Final Fantasy Friday. And like always, rock on. Death count activated.